Good morning, folks. Happy Mother's Day. We've got updates on key subfields today, and they missed the launch window last night, so the Plasma Glow display will try again tonight. Let's go over it all, starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours without quite as much activity as the day before. The sunspot is still active up top there, even without producing major CMEs. It has erupted a number of solid C-class flares since the M flare we showed you yesterday, and while the flaring hasn't been as strong, I've got eyes on the active region because the magnetism suggests it's still not quite done. Hopefully it will be more of those smaller C flares and not the bigger ones with CMEs, but for now, the sunspot is beta gamma class. And if you want to know more about sunspot classifications and what they mean, I have provided a link in today's list below the video to our 2014 episode on how to classify sunspots and what that actually means. Even seven years later, this and the other Sun Series videos are very informative. A quick look at the solar wind tells us that we're all quiet there. With the CME set to miss Earth, the next enhancement should be from a coronal hole stream. But we're off to the articles, and we'll start with the double on stars. In the first one, the deepest detail study of a pulsar is once again not helping their theories upon analysis. Neutron stars are actually my pick for their stellar paradigm with the most problems, not progressing much on that front today. Instead, let's go ahead and just see them toss something into a major journal that takes the tire iron to the cosmic timeline and much of what they believed was possible in these astrophysical scenarios. By the way, a forever young white dwarf means forever recurrent nova. You may recall on the 6th we discussed a paper on how heat transport in the oceans is key for deglaciation, pointing us back to the studies on how modern transport shutdown could actually trigger cooling of the earth. And they follow that up here with one saying the overturning circulation was also key to deglaciation, which again brings us back to the modern slowdown of the overturning circulation and eyes a future of cold. Both of those, by the way, came after our video a few nights ago where we went over, among numerous other things, the previous top work showing why melting polar ice triggers cooling via oceanic processes. It's like Earth's safety switch. That was A8 in that special video, and now let's add on to the B section from that video. I know veteran observers liked that light speed forcing paper a few days ago. Well, they may have chosen different words this time, but the geomagnetic and electrodynamic systems of the planet are worked at the immediate will of the solar wind. And so as we come to see their redefining high detail photometry of exactly how dark the night sky is, we recall two more. We remember this one, also from May 6th, discussing not only the geomagnetic thunderstorms or solar triggered thunderstorms, but the air glow enhancements during them. These should become increasingly enhanced as Earth's magnetic field continues to weaken in the modern excursion, and when it collapses, that glow will fill the heavens. Yesterday we mentioned that a plasma experiment NASA is doing with the magnetic fields is going to create that same effect, basically a preview of the end of the world for half the country. They missed their launch window last night, and they will try again tonight at 8.03 p.m. Eastern Time. I've provided a link to this as well, so keep up with either their broadcast or their Twitter tonight to see if the show of a lifetime is ready for the stage. We greatly appreciate your support. Yes, I'm going to mention that launch until they actually launch it because it's a literal preview of field collapse scenario. Can't wait for the footage and images. Learn more with our playlist at our channel homepage, with our books, or at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.